Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Texi Tutorials. This is a second part of the Node.js series. In the first part, we looked at what Node.js really is and why do we use it. And in this part, we're going to understand how to install the Node.js on your computer. Now, there are two parts to it. Uh, let's say you want to install a version of Node on your, your computer. You need to understand which version to install. You just don't want to install any version. You need a right version. Uh, so you need to make that decision. And the second thing is uh, that uh, how do you really install it? Now, there are multiple ways to do it, and we're going to look at it. But first thing first, let's understand uh, which version to install. So to understand that, let's go to nodejs.org web page. And here, when you go to the page, you have uh, these two versions available. Well, there are more than two versions, but it will say it will nodejs is recommending these two versions. Now, what is the difference between these two? The first one is 10.15.0 LTS, and second is 11.8.0 current. Now, it may be different uh, for you uh, when you look at this video. Um, however, you will see two of them. One it will be LTS version, and one will be current. So LTS means long-term support. What does it really mean? Which means the Node community will support this particular version it will fix all the bugs and all kind of stuff, right? However, the current version may or may not become LTS and it may have lots of bugs. So if you if you end up using this version and if, there's, if there are problems with it, they won't be fixed. Um, so ultimately, you have to move to some LTS version. So it's best to start with an LTS version. Now, if you click on the long-term support schedule, you will have more information here. So here it will open a GitHub page where all the versions are available. And as you can see, it has 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. As you can see, 10 is stable. And there are multiple dates here. Uh, active LTS start with when this version, LTS version was started and end of life, which means after this node won't be supporting. So if your project is going to somewhere in between, you need to pick correctly. Um, if you are starting this project, obviously you need to pick something 10.15, uh, which is the current LTS. Uh, so this line. Now there is another LTS version coming, 12.x, which will be starting in October 2019, and its end of life is April uh, 2022. Okay, and you can see the chart um, of all the stable an active version okay so you need to uh, pick let's say right now we are inside um, January 2019 and so the latest active will be 10 so which makes sense all right so the second thing you want to understand is how to install it now if I click on this version and click on the other download it gives me option to download Node.js. Now it has multiple options, Windows, Mac, and all that stuff, right? I would not recommend installing from here. Uh, the reason being, let's say if you if you have multiple application going, or let's say if you build an application where you are using this LTS version 10.15. Uh, so you build this application A using this version. Now in future, let's say you decided to use a different version for application B, let's say which is 12.17 uh, or something. You you want both application to stay in on your computer, and you need ability to switch versions uh, back and forth. So when I use application A, I want the version 10.15, and when I use application B, I want 12.17 or something. So how do how do I do that? Okay, so to manage all those version and ability to switch back and forth, uh, there is a cool package available called NVM, Node Version Manager. Uh, Manager. If you go to GitHub slash uh, creation uh, create creationx slash NVM, uh, you will get here, or you can just search on NVM uh, GitHub, and it will take you here. Um, First of all, you need to install this, um, which is pretty simple. You can just copy this and 
uh, run this curl command on your terminal uh, or you can use this wget as well and it will install on your computer by the way I will provide all those links in the description so you can actually look at it all right so uh, when I go to my terminal if I type in NVM after installing it um, I should see all the commands that I can use with NVM one of the first command is NVMLS this shows you all the versions that are installed using NVM on your computer so currently I have this four versions installed and the green one saying I'm using 8.9.4 so this is the default version I'm using but from here I want to look at what is the latest uh, LTS version available so uh, one way to do it uh, where you can look at all the version which is NVM LS dash remote when I do that it would print all the versions available uh, to be downloaded okay and there are too many of them and it says here LTS here 9 4.9.1 so I'll have all the LTS right so what I want to do is I just want to know all the LTS so I don't really care about the other version so what I need to do is uh, I can use NVM uh, LS remote uh, dash dash LTS and if I just grab uh, latest I got four versions so these are the long-term support versions now uh, I can use this version directly and uh, I can do two ways I can say NVM uh, install I can say 10.15.0 or or I can say NVM install uh, don't say NPM install NVM because we are using NVM uh, dash dash LTS and when I do that it installs the latest LTS version with as we look that is 10.15 all right so now if I do NVM LS I should see 10.15 uh, install on my computer along with the all other previous versions that I have now as soon as it installed it it actually selects that version um, so if I do let's say node dash V uh, I would see it has picked 10.15 but let's say I want to run a project an older project where I used uh, 8.9.4 uh, so I can switch it by doing NVM use um, 8.9.4 or if I just simply do 8 it would work because I only have 8 version 8.9.4 uh, only one of the eight versions available so I can just say use 8 and it will automatically put pick 8.9.4 now if I do n uh, node dash v it would say I'm using now 8.9.4 so this is how you can switch back and forth between versions and it's pretty simple all right so that's all folks now that we know how to install node version on your computer the next thing is to actually uh, run uh, our code that is written in JavaScript uh, so how do we do that uh, provide a link to that next video at the end of this uh, video and also you can follow the entire series I'll provide a link on the corner and I hope you like this video and if you did please like subscribe and provide a nice comment thank you